Hey, Brian here from Boris and Natasha Wheel and Deal. Thank you guys so much for joining us here today. We really do appreciate it. A couple little things we're doing here today. First stop, post office. We did have a couple sales that came in overnight, so we'll get those items uh, shipped out. And then we're gonna head over to our first garage sale of the season. Uh, first of many, I hope. I'm super excited about it. I found this one on Craigslist uh, first thing this morning, and they just posted it like 30 minutes prior to me finding it. Uh, so I'm hoping there's not too much competition. Uh, so let's get this stuff shipped out. Uh, let's get over to the, the garage sale and see what we can find. How you doing? Sorry. Yeah, good. Right in, <laughs> no worries. Excuse me, how much are than the, the Funko Pops? Start at five. Start at five. All right. Okay. starting at five. in here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. How much on these glasses? $2. What about these uh, trays here? Five dollars. I know I gotta get boards in the top shirt. Sure. Did you take ten for seven of these? Would you take 10 for seven of them? I get seven glasses? No, two bucks a piece. Is this. How about six for 10? What's that? Or are you firm on the two? No, I'm firm on the two. Okay. Collector, I assume? Got quite a bit here. Uh, I was, I had a shop for a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I also do collect. 
Yeah, I came back to get the rest. I was trying to pick a couple out and trying to be good, but they're all in really good condition too, so that makes oh, it even yeah. better. A lot of times you just see them washed out. You can see, you can tell that they were. Uh, no, they yep. were never used. Yep. Can I help wrap with those? Can I? Help? You can. All you right. Be my guest. All right. Sleep out the lot. Twenty-eight here. Got five more in the car, so 33 total. And three of these guys are absolutely gorgeous. Look how this one has some conditions on the back, but this one in the back is really good condition. Super excited about it. I'll show you everything when we go home. All right, so we're out of the first garage sale. I found quite a bit. Uh, I'm sure you maybe saw the footage. Uh, I got quite a few of these little these glasses here, as you can see. Um, these are collectible glasses from Pepsi. Uh, this one here is Boris, of course, from Boris and Natasha Wheeling and Dealing. Had to get those guys. Uh, she wanted a total of $2 a piece. Um, all said and done, I, I got five to begin with for 10 bucks. Um, I went back to my car and started thinking about it and decided to go back and get the, get the rest. So uh, they had a, a bunch of Tom and Jerry, they had all, all the Bullwinkles, they had the, um, the hot stuff, uh, quite a bit. I think it's even Casper I saw in there, Woody the Woodpecker, uh, quite a bit. All said and done, there was a total of 28 more glasses uh, that I picked up for 50 bucks. Uh, so I, in total, I uh, purchased 33 glasses for uh, $60.00. And um, on top of that, I saw these little trays here. Maybe you saw the video. Uh, these are from 1974, uh, all the Looney Tune characters. There was three of them here. Uh, these don't have a lot of value. Most of this is just really just for personal stuff anyways. So I'm not too worried about the value. I really love these things. I collect these. I pretty, have a pretty extensive collection. Um, a whole Looney Tune collection, sports ones, a whole bunch of different ones. So uh, maybe I'll show you guys sometime. But um, yeah, so I'm going to throw up a couple screenshots. Uh, these things are really definitely selling pretty well on eBay right now. Uh, I think one of the, I saw a lot of six of these uh, very same glasses sell for, I think, $80 plus shipping. Uh, another one that was like $60 plus shipping. Um, the Boris and Natasha ones, I think, sold, I think, like $18 plus shipping. Of course, uh, these are all personal glasses, so not too worried about the value on these. I think uh, any, with any of these glass type things, uh, especially with this type of, you know, um, images on it, uh, I think that the value is just going to continue to rise, kind of maybe slowly, but eventually just going to rise. Um, you know, day by day, I'm sure a couple of these glasses break a day, so there's just fewer and fewer available. So, um, you know, I'm going to keep these, store these, and hopefully uh, display uh, as many as I can. So, uh, another good news, I found another garage sale uh, as I was sitting in my car, just started looking around. I found another one that was on the way back. Uh, we're actually out front right now, so I'm going to head in there. Uh, if I see anything good, I'll take some some, some footage there as well. But uh, that's what's so exciting about these garage sales. You just never know what you're going to find. Super excited about getting in there. And actually, I see someone else walking in now. So let me cut this here. Let me get in, see what we can find, and uh, I'll show you what we got. I used to be, not anymore. Oh, you don't, you don't want any more? No. <laughs> you want a couple hundred of them? Boris, baby. That's really cool. Well, I mean, I don't know what you mean by old vintage. You mean? Not yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
thing looks like it's from the 50s or 60s. Yeah, I know. I mean, to me that's old. Right. But that's, that it's, came back. it's not old. But <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, you know. I know. If it is, it is. Oh! Man down. Okay, it's plastic. Yo, well, this might be glass. Which it is. Thank God. I almost owned it anyways. Oh, huh? Now look at me. I'm knocking stuff down. All right. Have that. a great day, guys. Good luck. Thank you. All right, guys. So, uh, as you can see, we didn't find anything there, but that's okay. I'm still super pumped about being out for grass sale seasons. This is awesome. Uh, I cannot wait for the weather to really turn and get in full grass sale mode because, you know, I'm going to be out there uh, checking those out. All right. So, I think actually when I was driving here, I saw another one around the corner. Uh, let's go check that out. It's a smaller one. Probably not going to find too much there. Uh, but we're definitely going to stop because I'm going to be driving by it anyhow. So uh, let's go see what we can find. As, as expected, that last little sale, it maybe had 10, 15 things. That's okay. Um, you still have to keep checking. You just never know what you're going to find and when you're going to find it. So um, I'm going to head back to the house now. I'll get everything laid out. I just want to show you all the glasses I got real quick just so you can see everything uh, a little closer. Uh, talk a little bit more about it. And uh, yeah, so unless I find any more sales on the way home, which is always a possibility because I'm always looking, um, uh, we'll get back to the house and uh, see what we got. All right, guys, I saw this sign right here and could not help myself heading into one more garage sale. I was five minutes from home, guys. I swear to you, saw the sign at the corner and here we are. So it was only two minutes out of the way. Let's see what we can find. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. Maybe uh, vintage clothing, t-shirts, things of that nature uh, that you can think of. Vintage, okay. No. All right. Well, you have a great day. Thank you Thank so you much. Too. Take care. I will for sure. All right, guys. We are back at the house, and here is everything I got at the garage sales today. Uh, I didn't end up going to a couple of them, as you probably have seen. Um, I was only able to buy something at one of them. The other ones are pretty small, didn't have too much that I was interested in, but uh, look at all of these glasses here. So I'm gonna try to quickly go through each of these little sets here. Uh, what I did was I broke these down into a couple different sets where I actually found sold comps on eBay, just to give you an idea of what these are going for nowadays. Um, I picked these all up for a total of $60, and it was for 33 glasses. So. Uh, this first little set here of six glasses right in front of us here. I found an exact sold count for those six glasses for $80 plus shipping. Uh, this set of five glasses in front of me here. Uh, I found a sold comp for $60 plus shipping. Uh, this set of four, the Boris and Natasha, the Bull and Cola, Dudley Do Right. I found the sold comp for $50. Uh, most of these glasses are not going to be for sale, by the way. I do collect these. I'm Gonna try to keep most of these, and of course, those two for sure are staying. Um, I found a sold comp for these four, even though there's still two duplicates, uh, for these exact four glasses uh, for $50. Um, these two here, the Wooded Woodpecker and the Chili Willy, I found a sold comp for $20 for those two. Uh, these three back here, I found a sold comp for $30. Uh, these two here, I will try to sell these separately. I found some sold comps anywhere from the $20 to $25 a piece. Uh, so we should do okay. So after that, I just had some a couple random ones left over. 
you know, I could probably lot these up and easily get $30 without question. So I did pick up these trays back here, really not worth much more than, you know, like 10 bucks a piece, but I just love them. And what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my uh, Looney Tune glass collection that I have and maybe make some lots up with that, including one of those trays, because now I have a total of four. The one I had was kind of beat up. These ones look in really great shape. So um, all said and done, like I said, uh, I've spent 60 bucks for all the glasses. Um, I think also we should probably get about $380 plus shipping for everything. Uh, so if you minus out the fees, the cost of good, and of course the buyer is going to be paying the shipping, uh, we should profit about $250 is what I'm, what I'm thinking. So uh, one quick thing here, maybe some of the screenshots you didn't see it, but I think for all my listings, what I like to do is inside these glasses when I'm taking the picture is I just put in just like a little white piece of paper uh, so you can really see the graphic. I'm not sure if it's showing up here, but I mean, I think you can tell the difference immediately. You can really get to see a good part of the image here. See how bright and vibrant it is versus obviously it's glass you can see through. So uh, for each of the listings, I'll just make a couple of these little things, throw them in and uh, put those in the picture. I think it really makes your, your picture pop and kind of stand out. I know it's not everyone does that. Not really sure why, but I think that's the best thing to do. All right, I had a great day at that garage sale. That lady I picked these up from, super nice. Uh, she said she bought these a long time ago. She bought four of each at the time. She did uh, sell two sets of each uh, today at the sale. She kept one for herself, and I think she gave one to a family member. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, super excited about this. This is definitely going in the personal collection. So uh, if you ever see these out in the wild, pick them up. Uh, you know, for the right price, I think you may, if you ever go to flea markets and things like that, you're probably going to see these glasses out there. Uh, I typically see them at least around us for anywhere from like seven to 10, sometimes $12 a piece. So, um, you know, I got these for under $2 a piece. I'm very happy about it. And the other thing is actually just like anything else with collectibles, uh, it just comes down to condition. Um, I immediately could notice how vibrant the colors were. Uh, so these, you can tell, were never put through a dishwasher. If they have, uh, the colors are there, but they're just very muted. Uh, and it looked kind of like a matte finish to it. So I'll see if I can sign a, find a picture of one that has kind of that matte kind of look to it. So you can kind of see the difference between what a good one looks like and what a bad one looks like. So, all right, I think we'll wrap things up here. Super happy we got out to a couple of garage sales today. I'm looking forward to the weather turning here in the next few weeks. And, uh, more grass sale videos to come uh thank you so much for joining us here boris and natasha wheeling and dealing and until next time peace and love